Hi, uh, Chris Chinock here at SID 2013. I'm with Andrew Scully, the CEO of Imagine. This is, uh, uh, we're actually going to be talking about some new products that you've got uh, displaying at, at the trade show this year. Uh, so as I recall, you've got uh, uh, new high brightness uh, micro displays, you've got a new XGA, and you're talking about some production ready uh, uh, products also. Yes. So, yes, okay, good. So tell me first of all about the, the new high brightness uh, thousand nit displays. Yeah, we, we have a display that's uh, thousand nits uh, in color, and that's uh, much brighter uh, than uh, any of our other products, and I think it's the brightest OLED micro display at all uh, that exists. We, uh, that's a, a first step in a long line of work that we're doing. The next step would be to remove color filters entirely and uh, directly produce, uh, directly pattern the OLED. So that's the next uh, generation. We have, uh, and that the uh, high brightness color is very well received by uh, some customers already. It's in their hands. The uh, XGA higher color gamut is something that is needed for the electronic viewfinder market. Mm. And that's uh, available today. Uh, those are uh, two things that we announced in press release most recently. Yep. On the other side, we've also produced a smaller pixel pitch SXGA that uh, we can put more on a wafer. It's cheaper and it uh, fits a form factor than a number of our customers are doing. Right. That's a 9.6 9 9 micron pixel. Micron. Now, the other uh, couple other things I could mention, I should go back to the uh, high brightness. We uh, also produce a monochrome green mo uh, high brightness, and that's. Uh, up to about 17,000 nits, wow. and even at that very high luminance, it still has 50,001 contrast ratio. At normal luminance, it's more like 100,001. And if you uh, check around, that's very hard for anyone to do, and I think we're the only ones who could do yeah. it. Yeah. And the next step is uh, that was well received by the uh, avionics uh, uh, folks in the U.S. government. They've challenged us to do color. We're working on that. Uh, so we will have a uh, high brightness color. Wow, that's, I mean, you've got to have some of the, the clearly that's the, the highest luminance, I would think, uh, that's out there. And if you can do it in color, that would be pretty amazing. Yeah, the color will be more like 5,000 to 10,000. Still a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, green is much easier to do because your yeah. eyes and mine uh, react more to the green. Sure. Sure. So those are some of the future things we're doing. Uh, we're also working on, uh, we have a WUXGA display, so better than high uh, HD, better than HD, yep. and uh, that works very well. All our new displays have the electronics in the back plane that can do automatic luminance uh, correction and color wow. correction okay. over temperature, and also uh, virtually no motion artifacts. So we're uh, very happy with the uh, new displays that we're coming out with. Now, the, the thousand nit uh, capability is going to be integrated across your product line, I believe, correct? Yeah, it can go on. It's the, an OLED structure that can be put on any resolution. Okay. Uh, right now, we're just in, reacting to what the customers want. Right. If they want it on a different resolution, that's easy to accomplish. Okay, okay so the, the color that you create right now, you, you basically have a, a white OLED with color filters the way you produce full color displays. Yes, now, that's correct. Now, you, you mentioned you're going to go to um, individual RGB uh, OLED uh, device structures going forward. Tell me more about your approach there. What, what kind of technology are you going to use to do that patterning? Well, there are a number of technologies you can use. I'm not going to tell you which ah. one because I don't want to be copied. Okay. Yeah, this is something we've, been, we've looked at a number of different options over uh, the last uh, uh, couple of years, and uh, we've settled on one that uh, we can do. Uh, the and we'll hear about that later. Yes, you will. You'll see it later. You won't hear about it. Uh, okay. uh, Going to keep the how we do it to ourselves, but you'll see the results. Okay. Now, uh, the, the, the XGA um, wide uh, color gamut one is not here today, so I, I, I was unable to, to see it, but hopefully it'll be here tomorrow uh, because I, I looked at some of the displays that you had here today, and they look, they look good but I would love to see something with a little bit more color saturation. I hope I'll see that tomorrow, correct? Yeah, the, uh, the display, uh, our uh, higher color gamuts, uh, 75 to 80% NTSC, 1953, or it's over 100% if you do 1987. Okay, and what's the color gamut uh, for what, what you're showing here, you think? Well, these are probably more like uh, 50%. 50%, okay. okay. Yeah, NTSC 1953. 1953. Yeah, we're display people here, so yeah. we tend to do 1987, but the uh, EVF guys do 1953. Gotcha. 
Great. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. Chris Chinock for Display Central.